Zeddy is our uh, digital communications director. Our field director is not here today. Um, but if you don't know, there's a racist bill right now. I kind of already talked about it. But I'm going to let Felicia go over here and actually speak on. Like, they've been studying it hardcore. And you guys need to know these details because they're about Birmingham. They're about Hoover. They said my name. They said Hoover's name. They said Birmingham's name. And they said Sally 65's name. And we are for the people, and we are the people. So this is about you. Okay, who here has heard about HB, that's House Bill 445? Raise your hand if you've heard about it. Hell yeah. All right, awesome. My people. Good. Did you know that if you block the road, you'll get a felony in six months in prison? That Did would be you what know we're doing. that no. if you get arrested for rioting, that you have a mandatory 24 hour hold? That means if a cop wants to break up a protest or a unionization effort, or he just doesn't like the people who are doing a cookout in a park, that actually happened. I'm not even making that one up. You can arrest all of you, charge you with riot, and you'll be held for 24 hours before you can be bonded out. If you are convicted, you'll get 30 days minimum, no parole, no like good, good time, no nothing. You gotta do those 30 days. If you got a felony under this, if you walk the road a second time, if you're convicted of aggravated riot, that is six months, no good time for behavior, no nothing, no parole, nothing. You gotta do six months hard time for one count, one single count. The definition of riot under this bill is five people or more who create the opportunity for injury or like or any public uh, disturbance or violence you creates the opportunity not that you've done anything not that you've actually thrown a brick down the we didn't hurt anybody did we hurt anybody walking here no, we're in the we're in the we're in the road we didn't hurt anybody that's a riot what we just did under this bill was a riot but it's not right now, so just saying we're not rioting. We are not, this is not a riot. That is the point, this is not a riot. But under this law, with those charges, it will be. Who's heard about the three new prisons? Anybody? Kay Ivy is building three new prisons. They're gonna lease them, which means that they gotta pack them full if they're gonna make any money off of them. Who are they Alabama's packing them full of? Them. Who's gonna be in there? Us. Us. People and mainly black people, but us. They signed the contract and then this bill was put forward. A week later, it's not subtle in Alabama. But they're underestimating us. Because we're gonna shut this shit down. I told you guys to call me general. Not because I'm the leader, but because I'm at a war with Hoover right now. I was arrested 13 times, almost killed three. They said that people walking into the road or throwing urine on cops, which we didn't do. We didn't do. They planted cops they, there. They planted cops there. We were arrested because someone, not even us, drew chalk on the sidewalk. We were arrested for standing in the grass. I was arrested for standing on a median when they said I could. They have pepper sprayed me, stunned me with a stun gun, popped both my shoulders out of place, giving me multiple concussions and held me at gunpoint. I got out of my car, didn't even turn it off, and was arrested for inciting a riot. I was greeted with three cop cars, 15 cops, and an assault rifle. An automatic weapon, though, just for me. We're here, for the city hall. We're whooping, calling you out. Has decided to defund the library. He black, why would he do that? So what, why would Woodfin defund a library? There was a study that uh, people who are trying to figure out how many prisons to make, they would go into lower income communities, go to elementary schools and see how many little black boys couldn't read in the fourth grade. They would take that ratio and turn it into prisons. Education is liberation for a reason. I'll say it again, education is liberation. Liberation, and the fight for liberation is a revolution. We're standing together right here, right now, and I'm so happy to see all of you, but I'm expecting to see y'all this summer. I'm expecting you to come out. 
Because this is not just a one day fight. This is not, oh, I was here, I can post on Instagram. Now I'm a revolutionary. No. I'm not saying you got to get arrested. I'm not going to say you got to bleed out. But you got to stand up for us. You got to stand up for